Hi friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to solve transformation problem in operation research by Vogel's approximation method or VAM VAM. Our question is solve the following transformation problem and find the initial solution. First some basics, this matrix is called the cost matrix and the outer numbers column wise are called AI or A subscript I and the outer numbers row wise are called BJ or B subscript J. In this question they are denoted by supply and demand but the language may vary from question to question but the concept is same. Next we have 4 persons A, B, C and D and 3 depot 1, 2 and 3. Again we have 50 units of goods in stock in depot 1, 50 units of goods in stock in depot 2 and 60 units of goods in stock in depot 3. Again person A's demand is of 40 units of goods, B's demand is of 20 units of goods, C's demand 30 and D's demand is of 70. Next sales values represents the allocation cost or cost of transportation per unit goods. That means if we allocate or if we transport 1 units of goods from depot 2 to customer A, our cost of transportation will be of 4 units. That may be 4 dollars or 4 rupees. But if we allocate or transport 1 units of goods from depot 3 to customer A, our cost of transportation reduces to 2. So what's our objective? Our objective is to allocate or transport goods in such a manner so that our total transportation cost is minimum. Let us proceed to our solution. First step. First sum all demand values and all supply values and check whether the sum of demand is equal to or not the sum of supply. In this question the sum of demand is 160, sum of supply is also 160. So it is a balance problem. If not, there is a special case which I will talk about later. Next I have written the cost matrix here. Next step find out the smallest number and the next smallest number in each row and each column and subtract the smallest number from the second smallest number and write the difference here. So in first row smallest number is 5 and next smallest number is 7. So 5 subtracted from 7 is 2. Similarly say in column 2 smallest number is 6 and next smallest number is 8. So 6 subtracted from 8 is 2 written outside in bracket. Just complete the step and in next step we will check the which is the largest number among the bracket values. So here the largest number is 3 among all the values. This is not 3, this is 2. So we will do our first allocation in that row or that column in which the largest number falls. So our largest number falls in fourth column. So we will uh, do our allocation in fourth column. Next step we have to find out the smallest number in that row or that column. So our smallest number is 3 in fourth column. So we will allocate here and against number 3 the demand is of 70 and supply is 60. So we will allocate the smallest value which is 60 in this cell. So 60 is used, exhausted. So put a cross mark and out of 70 we have 70 minus 60, 10 left. Since it's exhausted we will not carry this row in our next table. In our next table we will carry only row 1 and row 2. So our next table again same process subtract the smallest number from the second smallest number here there are only two numbers write the values same process find out the largest number and then against that row or column find out the smallest number and allocate to that so here the smallest number is 6 and demand 20 and supply 50 so we will allocate smallest number which is 20 so we have 30 left here and in this uh, column 2 is exhausted so we won't carry this column 2 in next table we will carry only first column, third column and fourth column. Again same process the largest number and in this column the smallest number is 6 supply 30 demand 10 so allocate 10 so we have 20 left here and this column is exhausted so we will carry only column 1 and column 2 in next table. In next table just same process ultimately do the process and do all the allocations until our all the demands and all the supply are fulfilled or exhausted. Next find out our final table it's nothing but writing all the allocation values in single table so we allocated a 60 in this 3 value we allocated a 20 in the 6 element we allocated 10 in the 6 element just write them all in a complete table that's the final table see 60 10 20 and next allocation list allocation list uh, 1 dot 1 equals to 20 that means in first row first column we allocated 20 Similarly 2.2 .2 means second row, second column we have allocated 20. Similarly third row, fourth column, third row, fourth column 
we allocated 60. Next, our final step is finding allocation cost. We have allocated 20 units of goods and at a cost of 5 per good. So 20 into 5 plus 13 to 7 plus 20 into 4 plus 20 into 6 plus 10 into 6 plus 16 to 3. So that sums up to 72 units. This is our total allocation cost and our answer. Next. Our some special cases is the original cost matrix I have written here. Say, in place of this 30, if in another question you get 50 here. So, our sum of demands will be 40 plus 20, 60, plus 50, 110, plus 70, 180, and sum of supply is 50 plus 50, 100, plus 60, 160. So, sum of demand is not equal to sum of supply. So, it's an unbalanced problem. In that case, our deficiency is of 20 units. 180 minus 60 and which is in vertical wise that is column wise so we will do just opposite we will add a dummy row if deficiency is in column just add row and dummy row means a extra row which all elements are zero and we write our deficiency value against that row so our sum of demand becomes 40 plus 20 60 plus 50 110 plus 70 180 and our sum of supply 50 plus 50 100 plus 60, 160, plus 20, 180. So sum of demand and sum of supply are same. We can now proceed the solution. And rest of the process is same. And subcase number 2, here so our sum of demands is 160 and sum of supply is 190. So we have a deficiency of 30 in row wise. So we will add a vertical column. A vertical or dummy column and we will write our deficiency value against that column. So our sum of demands becomes 40 plus 60, 20, 60, 90, 160, 190 and this becomes 130 and 190. So our sum of demands and sum of supply is same. We can now proceed to solution. Just remember if the deficiency is in column wise just add a dummy row and if the deficiency is in row wise just add a dummy column. That's it. Our next special case say if our largest value collides that means if it's a 3 and also we have got a 3 as largest number. So where will we start our first allocation? In that case, you have to check the allocation cost. That means against this, this largest value in this column, the smallest number is 3. So against this 3, our we can allocate 60. So our cost of allocation becomes 60 into 3, 180. And if this is 3, we will search for the smallest element which is 2. And against this 2, our demand is 40 and supply is 60 so we will allocate 40 here so after allocating 40 our cost of allocation becomes 40 into 2 80 so our cost of allocation is less in this cell so we won't allocate here we will allocate here so if the largest number collides then we can do this since our objective is to minimize the cost of transportation so friends this was my video on Vogel's approximation method or BAM how was the video let me know in the comments below and if you like the video or the video has helped you, please help me by liking the video using the thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because next time I will upload some more videos for you. If you want to watch any of my previous videos, please visit my YouTube channel. The link is given in the video description also in this video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe because your appreciation means a lot to me.